Now we're gonna do something a little bit different. You've been hearing me talk, frankly, way too much, more than I wish, uh, I apologize for that. So now I'm just gonna give you a problem. And the whole point of this module is to give you a problem, sort of some practice working with OpenMP. So we've covered the majority of OpenMP. There's like one major area we're moving towards. But other than that, you pretty much got all of OpenMP right now. So we've talked about how to create a team of threads. That's with pound, pragma, OMP, parallel. We've talked about how to split up work between threads. So there's the SPMD pattern, which is really, really cool. But there's also the pound, pragma, OMP4 and the pound, pragma, OMP single. We've talked about how to prevent conflicts, but, you know, basically race conditions, how to, how to control access to code, how to control access to data. So that's the pr pound, pragma, OMP critical the atomic, the barriers, or even the master construct we've talked about. And then we've also gone through the, the data environment clauses, which are darn handy. So you've got you know, the private, first private, last private, and then we've also talked about reductions. So we've covered a broad range of OpenMP, and if you've done all the exercises up till now, you, you should be feeling pretty good about yourself. You're, you really are becoming an OpenMP programmer. So now I'm gonna throw you a loop. <laughs> I'm going to throw you, throw you for a tough one. Consider the following problem. I have a list traversal. I want to traverse a list. So I'm going to create my, my data type for the list. I'm going to create a pointer to the head of the list, and then I'm going to pull off a, a, a point of the list, process the pointer of the list, and then go to the next one. So I'm just going to walk right through a linked list. How would you do that on OpenMP? There, isn't a, there is not a while work sharing construct. You have to remember the work sharing constructs in OpenMP, the compiler has to have a way of counting how many iterations there is. And it has to be able to set that up at compile time. You can't do that with a while loop. So there is no parallel while loop in, in OpenMP. So your task is to parallelize a linked list traversal. Now, in the set of uh, exercises attached to these lectures, we have helped you out by giving you a file called linked.c. And what it does is you want to do some beefy processing um, so that you have enough time going on in computing to compensate the parallel overhead. And what we do is, oh, I don't even remember, compute some Fibonacci values or something like that. It doesn't matter what it does. But we've built in something that does a lot of work in that process step. So go ahead and grab the file linked.c and your challenge is using just what we've covered so far, which is like, I don't know, 90% of OpenMP, just what we've covered so far, I want you to parallelize the traversal of that linked list. And let me warn you, this one's gonna take some real creativity, so have a great time.